Hello, my wonderful people, viewers, and subscribers. Greetings to you all, and I welcome you all to another episode of Bia France. We survive. This one is episode 1007. Today happens to be Wednesday, the ninth ninth day, ninth day, night. Yeah, it's nine. Okay, night day uh, in the month of October in the year of 2024. Please do not mind my mistakes. Because uh, in the by now, so on your name, oh, 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 Anyway, I bumped into this uh, news uh, this morning and I find it uh, very interesting and I said, let my people hear this thing and hear it the way it is. The headline is uh, Simon Epa to be to banish Soludo and Hope Uso Jinjo from Igbo land. Set fire to Monday sit at home. Said That Monday sit at home said it is non-negotiable. Not until the Nam Namdekano is released. Monday sit at home will continue. And not until we get the independence of the state of Biafra, Monday sit at home, we continue. So make sure to listen to this video, like it, digest it, and make sure you keep subscribing to this channel for more interesting videos coming your way. After this, um, uh, after listening to the news, then uh, we are going to dissect the comment section to know what exactly our people think concerning this matter. And I would like you to do me a favor. Please let this video go viral like this video so that uh, youtube will see that this video is interesting and they will recommend the video to other users that is the importance of liking videos even if you don't comment make sure that the likes triples if you cannot share like if you cannot subscribe like as simple as that so that youtube will do their need for i mean they will do the work that you're supposed to do by sharing it because that algorithm will be carrying it right around the whole world so that people will know exactly what is happening in this country called Zojuria. Anyway, let us go set the reason why we are here this morning. There's no time to take time. And on the inspection, to be sure that your shops are all open. Every Monday, every shop must be open. Okay, on Mondays, everybody in the department must be open. I came to see how it is going. We are bringing security to make sure that everybody has adequate security. It is very cheap every Monday. The person who is in Zoafia on Monday, they were there. 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 This is unacceptable. We'll be, I'll be here again every Monday. We'll be back here. Anytime, any shop that is not open will be sealed and will never be open again for that way. How can we achieve Biafra when we have the likes of Hopo Zodima, Governor of Imo State, and Soludo, Governor of Anambra State? I want to ask this question. Tell them. How can we achieve Biafra when we have these people standing in our way? Political leaders in the Southeast standing in our way. Senators, House of Rep members from the Southeast standing in the way of Biafra's actualization, the movement to actualize the consciousness of Biafra. These guys don't speak up when our people are being subjugated. These guys don't speak up when our people are being neglected yes. by the federal government. They don't speak up. But when the people form a movement to actualize the dream of every woman, they come and stand in the way. I put it forward to Soludo and Hopu Sodima. They will be checked very soon. They will be checked. We know that Soludo is working very hard to please his masters at APC. He wants a, a return ticket. After failing woefully, he failed woefully as a governor and he has come to threaten traders at Onicha main market. I repeat, Soludo went to Onicha main market to threaten the marketers there, the owners of the shops there, and said, that if any of them fail to open their shops on a Monday sit at home that has been sacred, that has been mapped out to protest the continuous detention of Mazin and the Kanu, he said that that person, the shop of that person will be locked and he will not sell for at least seven days. But if that person continues, he said that if that person's shop will be opened, he will op the person will open it on a Monday. And if that person refuses, the person might lose the shop. That is the threat. He came to give the traders 
at Onicha Main Market that the Monday Monday sit at home must stop because that Monday sit at home does not help the economy of Anambra State. They are losing billions of naira. That is why he wants to make sure it stops. When the federal government decided to uh, stage or site IDP camp in the southeast, none of these people comes out to say anything. They don't take it as a personal business. They are not fighting for the interest of equal people. These leaders are one of the worst set of leaders we have in Igbo land. So Ludo and Hoko Zodima, hear ye the voice of Chuko Kike and Biyama. You can't stand in the way of the people that God has blessed. I don't care what everybody, anybody thinks. That is your business. These people are not worthy to become leaders in Ugo land. Imagine a professor, a CBN governor. You have spent four, four years in Anambra State, yet there's nothing to show for it. There is nothing. There's no sector of the economy that we have seen that you have recorded giant strides, not in education, not in, not in agriculture, not in security. All you knew to do, you just wake up one morning, one Monday morning, and you went to Onishami Market and start threatening the marketers. Monday, Monday, sit at home, however you look at it. I know many good people do not subscribe to that Monday, Monday, sit at home. But however you look at it, it has become an emblem for the release of Mazin and the Kanu. The governors need to stand on their toes. The reasons why we are doing this is so that it could affect the governors. So that the governors will stand up on their feet and call for the release of Mazi Nabi Kanu. People now are willingly adhering to the seat at home in the southeast. If you're a southwesterner, you might see this as well, these people are doing themselves, are destroying their economy, are doing one, two, one or two, three, four, five things on themselves. I agree with you. We don't have the same destiny. We don't think alike. We have a place we are going. You may, you may not understand our prediction because we are not we are not facing what we are facing. What we are going through, we are not going through. So you may not understand our challenges at the moment. The evil man can stay hungry to actualize his goal. He's not going to be pandered by one little or one small one small attack or anything. We have fought the civil war. We survived with $20, we built an economy so we can build it. We have a place we are going. We have a message we are sending to the government. It is a message. Even though you think that this is not actualizable, I'm talking to the Southwesterners or other people, the Northerners that is going to watch this broadcast. If you think that it's not going to be actualizable, we are sending a message to the government of the day and telling the government that what is more important to us is the release of Mazin Nambi Kano. What is very, very much important to us is the release of Mazi Nambi Kano. If you wanted to look at the economy, look at the economy of Nigeria, how is, how is, it, how is it going? What is happening? Okay, no sit at home in other states. Why is the economy like this? With all the no sit at home, everybody's going out for their business. You know how the Igbo man likes business, but that's the sacrifice he wants to make. And nobody should come in the way of an Igbo man. They decided to do it, do it in the southeastern uh, Nigeria, in the southeastern states. They didn't carry their wallet and come to the southwest, not enough to say they are going to sit at home. It is the southeast. And we want the government, their attention to be drawn because these people have made up their mind. You see, there's a way you, you treat evil people. The evil government have made up their mind that they will subdue the southeast and we have also made up our mind that we will continue to survive and send our message until we become victorious the likes of Pope Uzodima and Soludo are not supposed to be heard of as leaders in southeastern Nigeria never their likes are forbidden their likes are forbidden you cannot just come and stand in the way of people moving towards a certain direction. During the, uh, the elections, 
They were asking him, goes, what do you want? Do you want presidency or do you want Biafra? There were different answers. Some people were standing in the middle. Different people said different things. They know that there is something this people want. All Nigerians know that an average Igbo man wants Biafra. And there's nothing that is going to stop them. The civil war did not stop them. The, the combined uh, atrocities that the Nigerian government is, is carrying on the Igbo people on the Southeast region did not stop them. The checkpoints in the Southeast, the militarization of the Southeast did not stop them. Is it the Soludo that will not stop them from actualizing the God given state, country? That God has placed in their hands. It is not Soludo. You see, Soludo wants to return for second term, and I understand it very well. He's fighting for his political life. These people are not concerned about the well-being of an average Igbo man. They are much more concerned, like a normal polit politician in Nigeria. They are much more concerned about their stake in Nigeria, their political future in Nigeria. They don't care if Biafra is destroyed. They, they don't care. If Igbo land is subjugated or impoverished, they are much more concerned about how they are going to still maintain their status in a Nigeria that is killing its citizens. I told you the last time, this is a class thing, the rich and the poor. They want to maintain that status. They know that Nigeria cannot work and they are unwilling to make Nigeria work. And they are part of the reasons why Nigeria will not work. But yet, they don't want a system that will work, which is either regionalism or balkanization. They know that they are making the people poor, uneducated, so that they will not hold them accountable. They are educating their children, they are educating their allies. The opportunities Nigeria has today, they are sharing it up there among themselves. But the other people are to be impoverished. Now, the other people want a system that is going to work, then a solution will come and tell people in main market not to open their shops. Is it as a threat or what? So if they don't open their shops, you lock up their shops. Well, Simon Epo has reacted, has responded to what uh, Soludo is saying. And he said that he's going to make sure that the rights of the people are protected. Since Nigeria cannot protect the rights of the people it's governed, it is the right of people to come out and, and do their business. Whether they are paying for the shops, they will pay for lo local government levy, they will pay for uh, uh, the, the shop levy, Every of the level you give them, they're going to pay. So what is your problem? What is the big deal with them coming out to open their shops? You are infringing, as you usually do during elections, you are infringing on the rights of the people. APC has made their intention to capture Anambra State through Ganduji, the APC chairman. And Soludo is fidget. He knows that he does not have the support of the people. So what is left for him? is to align with the powers that be like what we is doing now because these people are federal federal boys they work in the federal they are almost the same like the average nigerian politician so what he will do now he will pander to the timetable i have said it to the timetable of the apc because in a normal contest soludo would not win the election you see ozibo might clinch that election but he wants to partner with APC. Since Ifa Uba, who wants to play the right the the, 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 the henchman of the APC, want to contest under APC in Anambra is dead. Then who else? Soludo now is looking for ways whereby he can return as governor second term. That is what these people do because they have been rejected. Soludo will reject you in Igbo land. Uzo Dima will reject you in Igbo land. Well, Alex Oti, we are watching. We are watching. You see, no matter how you want to hold on to power, if you are being rejected by the people, you are just an empty, empty vessel. Like the current president, Bola Metrubu, the people reject him. See, just like even the Southwesterners reject him, but because of this hatred for Peter B, they, 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 there's no option. If we have a good option, we will fight this man, Tinubu. But Peter B, although he's, he's a good man, but we see him as this, as that. See, that evil spirit in them, that virus in them, will not allow them to choose 
a good person who is not from their trap or who they don't see as somebody if he's from the north they will have wanted to choose but because he's an Igbo man they don't want to choose a put to be you are even saying that we, we love a soludo we love an okonjo we love a umahi well the people that are speaking are my minority the reasons why soludo might be doing all these things maybe he's now playing playing the record label is signed he has signed with the apc maybe to carry on this thing what is wrong with people not coming out on a monday sit at home somebody tell me if you are watching this broadcast on the comment section what do you think is wrong with the sit at home i've given you some reasons why we want a sit at home we want to send a message to the federal government on nabi Kanu's in, in fact, it needs to be intensified at this point in time because looking at the case, it seems like we don't know when another judge is going to come up and pick up that case. And we don't know when Nam Khan is going to appear in court. We don't know when we are going to see Nam Khan in court. So there is a need for a sit at home to draw the attention of the government for justice, fairness, and equity. But this governor, these governors come out telling people not to. I, I, I trust the Nambrians. They will make sure he doesn't return the second term. I trust them. They have already signed him off. He's a personal non grata in Igbo land. Personal non grata. A prof. Nothing to show off for years. There's nothing to show. It is disheartening. It is, man, disappointing. The hype that they gave Soludo, you would think that the guy would do wonders. He's going to turn an umbrella to Japan at the end of the day. Look at what he's doing. Nothing. Dropping up and down. Empty. Most times, I, I would want to understand that most of the people that are having doctorate degrees in our country today might be as useless as people that did go to school. Because at the end of the day, there's, no, there's nothing physical to show. There's nothing. You go to school and reading grammar, reading more English, and you speak English, you speak grammar, you write thesis, you write project, you write a book, does not mean that you can transform anything. Go to a kitty state. How many professors are there? What are they transforming? Go to our universities. How many, how many things are they transforming? Look at your leaders that went to school. What are they transforming? Only P2B did something that really push the state forward. Well, if I'm saying P2B and you don't like it, you can carry your head and hit on the transformer. Obiano even did much more than in Soludo. What did Soludo actually do in Anambra State? Like the way we're asking people during Obaseki, what did Obaseki do? What did the PDP do that they are going to use to campaign to the people? Nothing. They do nothing. They just come and bureaucracy of government and everything. They just move up and down, jam body, circles, on seriousness, on serious policy, policy that was not intended to benefit the people. Nothing. If you are from Anambra State, can you point one or two things that the governor has done? Giant strides that will say this is unique to Soludo as a governor of Anambra State. Point one thing. There's nothing. And it's coming out to stop people from carrying out the activities. If I am in the main market, you are not going to stop me. I am not going to come and let's see what the governor will do. We are not going to come and let's see what the governor will do. You, you don't, you, you don't, you didn't rent, did you rent shop for me? Is there any loan you have given to me? Whatever you are going to give to me is, even belongs to me. Is the government sponsoring my business? Am I working under the government? I'm working as an individual. I'm working in the market. Is the market built by the by Soludo's money or his father's money? The market is built with Biafra's money. So you are coming to stop me from expressing my fundamental human right? Does it mean that the governor can just wake up one day and sentence somebody to death and kill somebody? And we'll just sit down and watch him and we'll just do anything anyhow. So Ludo is passing his boundary. And when men follow that path, we know that the end of this man is sudden, sudden destruction. 
who's on Dima, that one has even declared himself an enemy of Biafra. So Ludo, two of them, they have declared themselves as for that step that has made. Some people say, ah, these people don't know what they are doing. They are just, they are just spoiling their region. They are this, they are doing, they are just they are that. I said it before. We don't think alike. We don't think the same way. In the southwest, you can worship your leaders, and at the back, you backstab them. You can greet your leaders in their front. You see. You can do that in their front. Then, when they leave, you can start saying, You can start saying all sorts against them. But that's not how we rule in the Southeast. The Southeast, when you do something now, we face it, we face it squarely. We face you directly. No time to watch time. We are not playing that kind of useless politics we play in Nigeria, whereby you go through the back door. You align with the knot. You start permitting, doing like good person. Enter the civil service. Enter some of the key positions and go international equus. You start putting your men little by little. You say yes sir, yes sir. You enter, you enter. At the end of the day, you are now made president. You start imposing like a snake. That legacy, that template of leadership, does not yield growth. It only gives us what we are seeing today. The kind of leadership the North and the Southwest are doing, the kind of way they react to their leaders, this is where we are today. Just look at Nigeria and look at the system of leadership, political leadership, the legacy, the template of political leadership we have both in the North and the South. This is where he has brought us to Nigeria. You'll be asking us, why is it that the Southeast is not developed? This is one of the reasons why we are attacking our, our governors. And you are coming to tell us why we are attacking our governors for saying no seat at home. When there was no seat at home, how was the economy of the state? When there was no seat at home, what really happened? Shoura is telling you that we need a revolution. A revolution that will shut down Nigeria for Nigeria to get better. So when they now do that revolution and shut down Nigeria, some people now come and start complaining. And why did you shut down Nigeria? We are losing money. We need a revolution, don't you hear? To make sure that Nigeria works. With this current situation, even without shutting down, Nigeria is working. We need to shut down the system and reboot it so that it will start working. That's what is being said. Monday, Monday sit at home is going to become a memorial. It's the consciousness of an evil man is being awakened every Monday that there's somebody in DSS custody that needs to come out from that place ASAP. Somebody in DSS, the fragment will just maybe one of these days when they want to when, when they want to visit the southeast they will not remember that this is a monday this is a seat at home and they remember that there's not the come in just custody they will remember that they need to they need to make sure that that man is out if you think that namdi khan is going to stay there eh and not come out you are joking you are joking we are much more resolved than ever to make sure that this man gets justice if the Nigerian government cannot give them the kind of justice, they should go and look for it somewhere else. If they cannot try them, they can they take him back to where he allegedly they accused him of committing a certain crime. Let him be tried there. What are they afraid of? So the sister home has is the sister home is bigger than Soludo. Sister home is bigger than Uzodima. They should not interfere or infer if they tried. See, the cop. These guys, eh? You, you see, a very mad. You see some of these guys that are standing um, against Biafra. You see, you see their end. You see their end. They should not worry. Time will tell. I tap on my phone. So I don't hear and finish you. This one, a very obonga message and one and being sent out there to so-called uh, Tats Tukuma Soludo Mbafo and also. The governor of a uh, emo state hopeless who's demba anyway let us dissect the comment section then we round up the show but remember this video need to go viral eh? you can you cannot tell me that um uh, shop didn't pay for me i come to market when i please this i pay you tax and i pay local government levy then uh, you will come and give me a kind of a uh, order that i must be opening that shop you are not renting shop for me even the ground which I'm matching, 
I am paying for it. Anyway, Ati decided we must do thumbs up for this man. He is hitting the nail on the right head. Soludo, according to Oluchi, says Soludo is uh, suspected to be Obasanjo's blood. Take all their DNA, not Igbo blood. Then we have an onso Chukudozie. Uh, it is time to give this guy the market uh, a prize. Soludo, get ready, okay? Uh, Martin Nena said Soludo is one of the problems we have, criminal governors. Uh, Johnson Johnson said, Oh my god, so Soludo is a fool like this. I swear to god, a very big fool. Uh, my Genesis said, uh, What are the citizens doing to swipe away these criminals who call themselves leaders? At uh, Ukwa, he said, Soludo should be prepared to lock the entire market in Anambra State if he didn't sign to take some responsibility of any lives lost in the process of gambling with the people's lives. At Lili Yo said, Soludo, ah. Uh, they buying the goods for you. The trader should also sit at home on Monday. Let's see how he can seal all the shops. Then nobody should come to market. And let me see where he will get the, all the money uh, he is getting on daily basis. At our lawyer, no see, said, Soludo, you can't stand on the way of the peoples. Hmm? Uh, you are one of the educated fools in Igbo land, calling yourself a prof. Maybe the guy buy the prof himself. User 948 said that all the politicians in Biafra land must, must be dealt with. Biafra is our future. AD Mwakafo said that Soludo, with your professor level, you cannot see the handwriting on the wall. Have you not seen what's happening in Imo State? The evil plan of Fulani to Fiakwa after 2nd December, the Biafrans know those who belong to Biafra and not. At police says Soludo is threatening traders for Monday sit at home. When he has failed as a governor woefully, these politicians should be taught life lessons that they and their families will never forget. Sit at home is Soludo's problem, not to develop an Ambara state. Rubbish. And according to Vitalis, Wankwa Greedy is the problem of those gullible politicians. Uh, Marie says, Simon Epa, avoid an Ambara state. Avoid an Ambara state. Wahala. Ah, uh, Okonkwo God's time said uh, all these are the people that have betrayed their own brothers for money. Nigeria Bello said this man with this platform must be holding respons must be must be holding responsible anytime. Hehehe, <laughs> wala. Ndafon just abekwa. Che Jalusi we said if Soludo is right, how can Nam the Kano come out of that dungeon? You people are so wicked. Nam the Kano is fighting for you and me. Do you have conscience at all, or do we build up psychiatric hospital to correct your brains? Soludo is not right at all. Let all the eastern governors that contributed money to kidnap Nam the Kano go to the to that DSS and free him, so that there will be peace in all the southeast areas. Josephine Chuku says Soludo is right. Let people open shop on Monday. Hey, <laughs> Josephine. Uchenna God's will, Obulu said, Soludo, I advise you to stay away from their friends. Where if you, their friends, where if you love people of Anambara stage. Get through the Madena. Sorry, Peter B is not good man. He said, Biafra is dead and all that is happening. Peter B has not come out to condemn it. Peter B is a uh, Ugo na na aqua number. <laughs> And according to Emmanuel Chika said that Soludo is right. Why cut off your nose to spite your face? Why uh, why create hardship for your people by telling them not to tread in order to protest against your so-called oppressors? That is naive. And according to Nigeria Bello said, how can Simon Epa, who is already banished in Igbo, Igbo's land, banish the true sons of Igbo's? Mumu imagination. Get through the body say you are the bad one, not Peter B. You are evil. We don't know you, but we know Peter Gregory Obi. And according to um, Bright Clayton say, Mr. Speaker, stop this rubbish. You are blabbing. How does the close of shops give value to the resurrection of Biafra? People like you are the reason criminality fista in the southeast. Anyway, my wonderful people now you can take back break. Like, share, comment. And make sure on a keep subscribing to this channel for more interesting videos coming your way. I'll be right back. Kemesiano, my wonderful people.